and human, human rights. rights. And it's that. <laughs>
This was a that constructive criticism of Mr. Prime Minister. Well, they need to understand the position of the average citizen in this country. Now, mind me, I am not speaking on a level that they are accustomed to. I am not working in the people who are accustomed to talking down at. Oh, sure is why it's. And I am telling you, I do not have the resources to go KFC three days a week. Although the Minister of Health explained to the globe that it's because of KFC McDonald's pizza and Burger King is the reason why people fat so in the country. Ask him how much people he buy food for. Can't explain that to you. He could explain to us the advertising cost of these companies and we take to run. But we was never told how much money these people is paying to function and run in our country. I think that would have been a good no. The Attorney General report. Scandal. The Auditor General, sorry. Auditor General of Trinidad and Tobago, Ms. Ramdas is currently embroiled in a dispute with the government over a 2.6 billion error in the, cur in the country's 2023 revenue data. Ramdas appointed on November 2023 has demanded retraction of statement made in parliament regarding her handling amended accounts. This conflict have led to legal action and accusations of political interference highlighting challenges in ensuring the dependence, the independence of the Auditor General's office. One of the biggest scandal in the history of Trinidad and Tobago is right under our noses. And we just sit back, relax, and the Auditor General is underneath attack. And many of you may not hear that name. Or may not understand what that is. That is the thing that keep the checks and balances and government spending in check. And it ought to be independent. And we are seeing, we are seeing the Attorney General sending. <laughs> legal notice something in the mortar more than the pestle just the other day we would hear the bills changing for what reason i know apparently the feeling that they are on the down decline so what is that a way of trying to thief the country's money? What is that all about? A 2.6 billion dollar era, that would call it. According to a two point six billion dollars era,
we must stand up for the right thing in it. We must see when our government trying to put shit in our face and saying that ice cream. So without further ado, we are going right back into the video with which Irvin Felix would have said and he couldn't, couldn't, couldn't have said it better. To you the people that tune into this video, again thanks for watching. And it's always my pleasure to share moments like this with you all. May God bless that when the time come, you do the right thing. We go point to you in the right direction. Don't worry about yourself. We have always been here with you. And we will continue to be here with you. Underneath God's grace and His covering and His protection. You will quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. And with that, we are out. For the two terms that this gentleman said in office, to close off these two terms, what the hell did we profit as a people? You can't make grocery good. You can't pay your bills good. You can't drink a beer good. This was under constructive criticism of Mr. Prime Minister. All you need to understand the position of the average citizen in this country. Now, mind me, I am not speaking on a level that all they are accustomed to. Because I am not working in the people who are accustomed to talking down at. Or show is where it is. And I am telling you, I do not have the resources to go KFC three days a week. Although the Minister of Health explained to the globe that it's because of KFC, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, and Burger King is the reason why people fat so in the country. Ask him how much people he buy food for. He can't explain that to you. He could explain to us the advertising cost of these companies and we take to run. But we was never told how much money these people is paying to function and run in our country. I think that would have been a good the two